Our farm is in the Western Riverina between Moolamine and Swan Hill. Here I'm the second generation here. Uh, we're a mixed farm, livestock, winter crops and rice. And once upon a time we were using well more than twice as much water on this farm, using it with techniques that from this vantage point looked a bit primitive, they seemed adequate at the time. So now we've got much higher performance layouts, much better knowledge of our soil types and we've focused on those profit generating areas and improved our efficiencies there which has improved profit. But we've also focused on our non-profit making areas and dedicated them much more to habitat improvement. We water up this, this creek line that hasn't seen water for 15 years, and now the intention is to probably rewater it in the spring. We've significantly enhanced the status of the, the perennial vegetation along this, this corridor that goes right through our farm. It's more than two miles long, and simply the addition of water makes everything work better, particularly when combined with uh, the exclusion of grazing. I feel passionate about the environment and protecting the landscape that we have and ensuring its survival into the future and, and improving it because you know things have changed over the last 50 years. And um, the other thing for me is I feel really strongly about protecting our native wildlife and, and preserving vegetation as a way of protecting them and having a, something for them to, somewhere for them to live and something to eat. As we were driving in we saw four emus, uh, adult emus and then one of them had four chicks and it was, I mean we do see emus in our landscape but seeing them reproduce it's a fantastic feeling to know that we've had something to do with that. Having a broader program of, of looking to enhance the landscape as you see it also helps to deal with the less glorious times on farm i suspect we're descending into one of them right now oh absolutely i mean we're watching watching our farm dry off and all our feed and but we've, but we've got this fantastic piece of um native vegetation and wetland that's thriving so that's mm. mentally it's fantastic for us to have that to hold on to i guess when things are tough yeah, it gives a broader sense of meaning as well. Um, this is part of what the task is about. I certainly think um, more farmers should use these techniques. There's now a quite a substantial volume of water dedicated to, to the environment, courtesy of the Murray-Darling Basin Plan. And yes, it's come at, at um, some pain to ir some irrigation industries, but it also represents an opportunity. We've got more water we can deliberately dedicate to these sort of activities. And per megalitre of environmental water, you get a lot of result for the use of this e-water. So it, it's, not, it's not all about putting it down the channel of the River Murray. So it's a, it's a very powerful tool to make use of, good use of the asset that is environmental water. Yeah, and we can see the, the benefits already just from that watering with the reaction from the trees and the animals around that, that are using it it's, and it has a huge effect on our farm. It's certainly unfortunate the vast bulk of news urban Australians receive about farmers is bad news whether it's farmers behaving badly or farmers suffering from bad circumstances. Farming is a competitive business that, that has a number of risks like any business does we do our best to manage risks, but I think there's a substantial proportion of farmers who do have a sense of sense of place, a sense of belonging, and it's actually part of the reason why droughts can be so harrowing, because you see the landscape suffering, and it's a landscape you are somewhat attached to. I, after being educated in Melbourne, I probably had every reason to not live life as a rural Australian, but I chose to live life as a rural Australian because I do have a have a sense of responsibility to this landscape and it's we try and we try and act on it as many people do. I think most farmers would feel that way too, that there's that sense of responsibility to the place that we live. There's not enough appreciation of the diversity across farming systems and what what farmers are doing in a positive sense. Australia is a vast continent. The vast bulk of Australians live in a very small proportion of this continent. 
As a population, we have a responsibility to look after the whole of the continent, not just little pieces. Our system of economic growth and economic development is systematically emptying the continent of people. That's, that's a consequence of other agriculture forming a smaller and smaller part of the economy. But at a certain point, we need to be conscious that we need sufficient people, sufficient resources, or sufficient skills to make sure we look after the rest of the continent. Not just Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane, Newcastle, Wollongong, etc. And we need to think carefully about how we develop in the decades and centuries to come as a nation to ensure we look after the environment in the whole of this continent.